Okay, so this time, um, I'm going to introduce another app called the Photo Protractor. So, this is only available for Mac users. It, so, let's try it. Okay. Actually, I've already added my picture here. So, this is only used for photo analysis. So, that's why it's called Photo Protractor. But, the good thing about this is it has also angulations that you can use so that um you'll be able we'll be able to approximate the angle of the range of motion now this time what you have to do first is um take a screenshot of the video okay take a screenshot of the portion of the video or cut the video into an image uh, of the specific range that you want to measure so let's say i have paused the video onto elbow flexion okay and then what i did here is i click on the camera button on the lower left side and then i selected the photo so i've already have this one the elbow flexion image okay and then what we're going to do now so since i've already added the no, the image the thing about this is you're going to move the image for you to assign because um, the protractor is not moving. It's always centered. Okay? So what we're going to do is to move the image. Okay? So as you can see, I'm putting the image with the alignment that the fulcrum is on the middle part. Okay, And then click on the lower left side once again and click the start button so meaning that is the proximal arm align it with the acromion process okay and then the angle okay is the distal arm so this red line moving so let's up align it with the radial styloid process okay so as you can see the the measurement is at 44.81 degrees okay so what are we going to do now? So, my suggestion, once again, is just to take a screenshot or to take note of the value that has been taken, specifically that 44.8, okay? So, you can round it off to 45 because you don't use uh, the point degrees, okay? So, you can round it off to 45 degrees and then what you're going to do is just subtract, okay? Subtract the value from 180 degrees okay so meaning 180 minus let's say it's 45 degrees so you'll get 135 degrees okay so that is your end value for the elbow flexion that you can also add or put on your rom table okay so basically that's it this is a basic um, software or app that you can use for measuring the range of motion.